Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Coons, one of the reference librarians at the Haverford Township Free Library here with your Monday, August 10th reading with reference. And today I'd like to talk to you about a wonderful book that I just finished called Homegoing by Ya Jesse. And I listened to the audio, it's read by Dominic Hoffman. He does a really fantastic job. This is a multi-generational saga that follows the descendants of two half-sisters it begins in 18th century, what is now West Africa, Gold Coast, which is now present day Ghana. And one of the sisters has been captured by uh, sort of the, there's an uneasy peace going on in the Gold Coast at that time. And the African tribes were sort of had this, these trade alliances with the British where they would capture people from other tribes and then bring them over to to be shipped out as enslaved people in other countries. So if one of the characters, Essie, has been captured and is uh, shipped over to the United States. The other sister, and by the way, these, these women actually don't know that they're related. They're half sisters. The other sister has been sort of manipulated into marrying a British um, slave trader and she ends up living in this castle. One of the castles has been erected by the European slave traders. And so you follow these two, the descendants of these two characters over 200 plus years. The chapters shift between what happens to Essie's descendants in the United States from um, cotton plantations and coal mines in Alabama to um, to pre-Civil War Baltimore, uh, to the jazz clubs of Harlem, and kind of back around again. And then the chapters shift between those descendants and the descendants of this character of Effia, who is the one who stays in Ghana, and her descendants. Um, it's really beautifully done. It's it's just, the, the story is fantastic. I listened to a an interview with the author who actually was was born in Ghana but raised in Huntsville, Alabama. And um, she said that she did quite a bit of research for this story. So, it, I mean, it's really, the story was fascinating to me because I didn't know, I didn't really know a lot of the history about the slave trade and, and how it all went down in West Africa and how there was this sort of alliances between tribal groups, the uh, Ashante and Fante tribal groups to bring bring in, I guess, you know, enslaved people that they, they, they would um, capture people from neighboring villages, they would sort of raid and then, then bring, bring people over. So I was not aware of that. There's a whole lot of history. It made me really interested. It made me like sort of go on the internet and look, look at this history a little bit more. Um, it is it is disturbing heartbreaking, um, horrifying, and um, illuminating. And I'm glad, I'm glad I know more about it now. I think um, one of the things that made a huge impression on me with this book was this reality of this intense intergenerational trauma experienced by enslaved people because families were just torn apart regularly. Um, you had, children being separated from their parents when they were just toddlers, uh, siblings separated, never to be reunited ever again. So this sense of where, you know, where is my lineage? And that's one of the things that's done so beautifully in this book is you're, as a reader, you're following the lineage, you see all these losses. Um, and, the, you know, but you're, you're sort of following along. Uh, what else do I have to say about this book? Yeah, it, it was just, it was fantastic. Um, there were a lot of, there are a lot of characters to follow. Um, and I didn't mind that at all. It never confused me. I actually loved the challenge of sort of trying to remember who belonged to whom and which lineage was was being um, invoked with, uh, with following the characters. Uh, the ending was very satisfying and really moving. I just like, I just, burst out crying at the end because I thought it was so, I mean, just, it was a lot. It's like, 
there's a lot of stuff going on in, in the story. There's a lot that happens to these characters and it's just really something. So I'm going to read you just an excerpt from a review of this book by Jean Zimmerman from NP, a uh, review written for NPR. I think it really sums up the unique power of the book. She writes, Meshing the streets of Harlem and the Gold Coast of Ghana in the pages of one novel is a remarkable achievement. Yaw, one of the book's 20th century descendants, teaches a class of African adolescents whom he urges to think deeply about history. Quote, you must always ask yourself, whose story am I missing? Whose voice was suppressed so that this voice could come forth? Once you have figured that out, you must find that story too. In Homegoing, Ya Jesse has given a rare and heroic voice to the missing and suppressed. So this is my recommendation, Ya Jesse, Homegoing. You can read the text if you'd like, or you can listen. You can listen, uh, on, but if you have a CD player, you can listen with, to the CDs. We have it at Haverford. We also have this book, uh, we have the audio version um, available through Libby as well, read by Dominic Hoffman, who does a fantastic job going back and forth between African, you know, lots of accents and lots of uh, reading as female, as male. He's just, he's, he's a really great reader. He does a fantastic job. So that is my recommendation. Thank you for being with me and I'll see you next time.